I am Zamina Abu Bakr. Today we study lecture number six, nomenclature. In this lecture, we study importance of binomial nomenclature, problems with common name versus advantages of scientific names. Second, binomial nomenclature of plants. Third, the principles of binomial nomenclature. First topic is the importance of binomial nomenclature. In this topic, we study problems with common name versus advantages of scientific name. First problem with the common name, common name vary from country to country. They are restricted to the people of a one language or even one section of a country. And the language are vary from region to region within a country. So it is very difficult for a single person to remember so many names of a single plant. Some species have the hundred of different common names. As compared to problem with the common name, advantages of scientific name, botany is studied all over the world by all the nations. So in the botany, there must be a system of naming of a plant. Next problem with the common name, common name are used for taxonomic category that is higher than sapicious level. For example, rose is a genus. It has many species. So the common name do not provide any information about the species level or below the species level. But scientific name provide information about the species level and below the species level, for example, variety, farm, extra. Next, the problem with the common name. Common name may be quite unlimited name for a single plant. For example, Ponzi have the 50 English name. And these 50 English name are not regulated by any international authority. And it is very difficult for a person to remember 50 English names of a single plant. And many wild species which are not known to a common people, so they do not assign any name to them. But scientists give the single name to a single plant and these single name or botanical name are regulated by international authority that is the International Code of Botanical Nomenclature. And many wild species are also be assigned by botanical name. Next, the problem with the common name, common name do not provide any information about phylogenetic relationship of plant. But scientific name provide all information about phylogenetic relationship of plant and they tell about the plant biography. And these names, scientific names are derived from Greek or Latin language. And both these languages are internationally regulated by scholars, internationally known by scholars. Next topic is the binomial nomenclature of plant. The binomial nomenclature system was firstly introduced by Carlos Linnaeus, who was a great taxonomist. And the system is based on giving each plant two names. And this system is a universal. And two, no two kind of plant have same binomial name. Every plant have a separate name. Every plant has only one or correct name. Next topic is the principles of binomial nomenclature. First, plants are given generic name that is followed by a specific name or epithet. Generic name is a noun and specific name or epithet is the adjective. Third rule is that generic name is always capitalized and specific name are not capitalized according to modern tendency. Fourth rule is that the system is derived from Greek or Latin language. Both these languages are, reg are re regulated by international authority are known by the scholars. For example, scientific name of a plant coffee is Coffea arabica lin. And scientific name for the sunflower is Helianthus annus lin. In this coffee, scientific name is coffee, coffea arabica lin. Coffea is a generic name, arabica is specific name, and lin is the name of scientist. And similarly, halianthus anos lin. Halianthus is the na generic name, anos is the 
specific name and Lin is the name for the scientist. Next principle, binomial should always be underlined. In a printed form, they must be italic. Next principle is that name are abbreviated or name of a scientist who firstly describe the species follow the binomial. For example, Kofia Arabica Lin stand for the Lin stand for the name of a great taxonomist Linnaeus. And next principle, some binomials are followed by two names. First name is within the bracket. For example, Albizia Lebec Lin Bath. Albizia is generic name. Lebec is specific name. Lin and Beth is the, both are the name stand for the scientist. Both are the abbreviation stand for the scientist. First name, Lin, with, which is within the bracket, is the name of a person who firstly describes the species Linnaeus. And the second name with is the name of person who correct the name later on is the name of Bentham. Okay, scientific name Albizia Lebec Linbeth. It has so many common names. For example, it is also called Iris, Indian Sirius, East Indian Walnut, Broom Rain Tree, Lebec Lebec Tree, Frywood Cuckoo, and Woman Tongue Tree. Okay, I hope you understand today's lecture. Please subscribe our channel.